Now, we're going to look at how we can organize numbers on a fancy schmancy thing called a number bond. A number bond is three circles. One big circle, two little circles, and then a line connecting them. Like this. Now, that might look kind of silly at first, but don't worry, it's really not too scary. This big circle is the whole. Can you say whole? Whole. And these little circles are the parts. Can you say part? Part. Let's say it one more time. Part, part, whole. One more time. Part, part, whole. Okay, so the biggest number is always going to go in the biggest circle or the circle that's on its own. Because remember, numbers are made up of smaller parts. So the littler parts are going to go over here. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to roll my dice. Ooh. Do you know what number that is? Number six. So I'm going to count out six magnets over here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, six magnets. Now, I'm going to move them over here to the side. Well, no, we'll leave them here. We're going to push these into two different groups, okay? So let's say I put one over here. I'll do two. Three. So we've got three over here. And three over there. Did I add or take away any magnets? I didn't. So we know that there are still six. I'm going to rate that number six right there. Okay, six. Now, six can be made up of one, two, three, and one, two, three. Hmm. Let's see if we can make six a different way. Let's put them all back over here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, now, if I just do two down here and the rest up here, hmm, I put my six magnets into a group of one, two, and now I put my six magnets into a group of one, two, three, four. Oh, so two and four make six. There's lots of different ways to make numbers. Let's try this with a smaller number. So I'm going to take all my magnets off. Erase these. Let's roll my dice. I think I get a different number. I got the number two. Can you count with me? One, two. So I have two in this big circle. Two is my whole. Part, part, whole. How can I separate two? If I had two cookies and I had two friends to share them with, perfect. One for my friend and one for me. One and one make two. One and one make two. Two and broken apart into one and one. There's another kind of sneaky thing that you can do with the number two. If I had two cookies, Nathaniel would like to do this. If I had two cookies and a plate for Eleanor and a plate for Nathaniel, you could be kind and you could share one for each, or Nathaniel could be selfish. 
he could keep two cookies for himself and no cookies for poor Eleanor. Oh, that would make her cry. Eleanor has zero cookies and Nathaniel has two. Two and zero make two. All right, you're gonna practice with some more number bones and some more numbers in your lesson today.